Nope, never mind. It's quiet. People definitely staring at us. She's crying again. Why are you crying? It's diaper. It's gotta be diaper. Chewy, no! Do you need another diaper change? You're a monster, Hazel. I think this is gonna be a fun day. Ah! Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey. I'm single, so I thought it would be funny if I tried motherhood for 24 hours. This week, I will be challenged with taking care of a simulated newborn baby, not in The Sims, for 24 hours. It is a like digital baby that you might see in like movies or TV shows or reality shows where someone's challenged with taking care of this like fake baby that cries and needs stuff. This baby will need to be burped. Let's burp you. Changed. It's diaper. It's gotta be diaper. Cuddled. This is fun. I just get to cuddle a baby all day. Fed. Would you like to be fed? You name it. I don't have a ton of experience like hands-on for long periods of time with children, especially on my own. I've been like the fun aunt to my best friend Caitlin's kids. I have been a babysitter, but normally when I babysat kids for a while, they were older. I'm anticipating a lot of crying a lot of sleep deprivation in my 24 hours. She wakes up, she was good all night. I feel like I have very little knowledge of how to care for a child, so this will be definitely a wake-up call, both literally because the baby's gonna wake me up and figuratively because I don't think I fully can understand what I'm in for. To help me understand a little bit, I brought on my best friend, Caitlin. I brought on Caitlin to give me a little bit more information about what I'm going to expect in this next 24 hours. Hi everybody, I'm Caitlin. I I have known Kelsey for almost 20 years and I have two kids. They are five and two. Having a newborn is unlike anything you'll ever do in your life. Babies cry a lot. You are attached to them 24 seven, but it is honestly one of the most rewarding things I personally have ever done in my life. And there is nothing like cuddling a smooshy baby when they're all like curled up and on themselves and it's, it's the best feeling in the world. Babies wake up about every three hours, so sleep doesn't happen very often. Then you have some of the best parts of having a newborn, like cuddling with them all the time, looking at them and seeing all of the crazy faces that they make while they're sleeping. They are portable. You can take them anywhere. You can go out to eat much easier than when they're larger. One of the most frustrating things about having a newborn is you feel like you don't belong to yourself anymore. You are tied to this little human. Everything you do is on their schedule. I think the best part of having a newborn is just knowing that that you made a person and that is mind-blowingly cool. I think one of the biggest things that any new mom or mom or anyone with a baby in general needs to know is you need to give yourself a lot of grace and practice loving yourself. Not self-care, just love yourself and you need to give yourself space to fully experience this moment because it's hard, but it is just a phase and it will end and you will look back on it fondly, even though you might not think so, but you will appreciate it when it's over. So good luck, Kelsey, I hope you have fun. So the day has arrived. It's around like nine in the morning. So we have our baby here. This is the baby that was available. So, you know, it's a baby girl. So the way this baby works is like you give it a program with these keys and then the program can give you like, try to give the baby what it needs, but you don't physically do it. You have to like put a key in its back. So there's a tension, there's burping the baby, feeding the baby and a diaper change. And then there's a panic button in case you just really can't figure out what is making your baby cry. And then it calculates how many times you panicked, which is great. I guess let's start kind of seeing how to like, let's uh, figure out how to like set this baby up. I'm like a little nervous. I think you just pop the, the sky open. Oh, okay, that was simple. All right, I think it's on, just pop it back in. So we're gonna put this, ooh, okay, there, it lit up a little bit. Let's put the demo in to make sure that everything's going well. What do we do next? We'll try program A. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it on my lap. And we're gonna see if it starts crying. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Okay, it started crying. I guess it's on now? So do I just like chew with the baby? What's gonna happen? I don't know. Let's keep reading about you, baby. At times, the mannequin, that's what it's called, will cry to indicate a diaper change is needed. 
The mannequin will continue to cry until the student inserts, I'm the student, the diaper change key. If the student inserts any other key, the mannequin will continue to cry. Hold key in for one to two seconds. Okay. Upon insertion of the diaper change key, the mannequin will stop crying and make the cooling sound to indicate the correct action has been taken. At specific times, the mannequin will cry in case it needs to be fed. Okay, so it's just gonna cry and there is no way to know is what I'm picking up from this. 10 seconds before the end of the feeding period, the mannequin will coo and then it needs to be burped. If for some reason the student cannot figure out how to quiet the mannequin and panics, there is a panic key that can be inserted to quiet the mannequin and terminate the present programmed event. So if I end up panicking at some point, it will let me know. So I got, I got some, some outfits and a blanket for my baby. I literally bought this baby an outfit. I almost bought the baby like a stroller and like a car seat and everything. Those things are expensive. Sorry, parents. Oh my gosh, there's my baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then I got, a, I got baby a blanket. This is so cute. Look at the baby. I'm very content. I think as soon as it starts crying, I'm gonna panic, 100%. I don't like, number one, being out of control. And number two, I don't like not knowing how to do things well. And the fact that like, it doesn't signify really like which one is correct. I'm like worried I will be a very bad mom today and be like, what do you need, baby? What do you need? I need to name baby. I want something trendy, something fun, you know? Luna, Ilsla, Ilsla, Isla, Aurora, Mia, and Maeve. I do like Maeve. Since this is not a real baby, I feel like I could go bonkers with the name. Esme, Penelope, Anastasia, Josephine. None of these sound like you. Bridget, Adelaide. Hazel's cute. I'm gonna go with Hazel. Her name is Hazel. This is fun, I just get to cuddle a baby all day. And it's gonna cry. Oh, it's gonna keep me up at night too. What's the worst I can have it? I think this is gonna be a fun day. Okay, I think it's crying. What do you need? Let's go with feeding. Come here, baby. Two, three. Four, five. Nope, feeding was not it. Okay, what about attention? Nope, not attention. It's diaper, it's gotta be diaper. Chewie, stop licking baby. He's like, I don't like the noise. Okay, it needed a diaper change. Good baby. I can handle this. This is gonna be great. Tazel's upset again. We just did diaper change, so maybe we're hungry. Let's feed you. Okay, not feeding. Give you some attention. One. No. Do you need another diaper change? My baby is extra poopy today. Double diaper change. You're a monster, Hazel. <laughs> Chewy, did you not like the crying? That's his stress spot, so Chewy lays in that spot when he's a little stressed out. <laughs> I don't know why, but like when he's stressed and he needs extra cuddles, he lays in this spot. Poor Chewy. <laughs> I was wondering how Chewy would respond to baby. I will say though, when the baby's on its back, like laying down, it's harder to hear the cry, which makes me wonder if I'm gonna sleep through my baby's cries all night. Chewy, do you don't think so? He's like, I don't think so. You'll be good mom, mom. Okay. So I need to do my laundry today. I'm only doing it with one arm because we got baby here. Baby Hazel needs attention. Chewie's very interested, I feel like, in what's been going on with my life here these past days. This is fine so far. I'm not like upset about this day. I think that I'm gonna have a lot of fun because I like cuddling. I feel like I like mothering things. So I'm gonna get attached to little baby Hazel. Okay, I gotta get some work done now. So I think I might just try to like put baby Hazel down for a nap in the bedroom. And then when she cries, I'll come visit her. I feel like that's a normal thing for parents to do, right? Like leave the baby in a room, but like not very far. We're gonna put Hazel down. I don't know how to swaddle. Chewy, no! <laughs> I don't know how to swaddle. So I'm just gonna just tuck him underneath. I know this isn't swaddling. And then here she goes. And I was gonna pull her arms out, but I realized like that's the opposite of why you swaddle. Oh, Chewy, are you gonna sleep with her? Are you gonna take a nap and protect baby Hazel? Don't scratch her head again though, all right? Come on, Chewy, we gotta leave baby Hazel there. Thank you. Chewie's excited for playtime. He's already laying on Hazel's blanket, which I don't love because it's Hazel's blanket and not Chewie's blanket, but Chewie disagrees. Chewie also disagrees that I was gonna play with Hazel with this toy, but Chewie thinks it's his toy. Oh wait, no, he's distracted by Dallin. Okay, quick. Here we go. <laughs> Chewie, no. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> this is kind of dumb. I feel very embarrassed of myself, but it's kind of fun too. <laughs> 
Chewie, no, it's not for you. Hazel can hold it. Here you go, Hazel. Very. Ah! Don't bark at Hazel. It's super weird because today I don't feel as embarrassed as I did when I was walking around pregnant. I think I'm just more comfortable holding like a fake baby than I am being fake pregnant. I don't know why. He says hi. JJ wants a new bed. Classic episode of Coco Melon. I've never seen this show before. Wow, they look kind of like Sims. Oh my God, the baby can sing? Wow. Hashtag relatable for babies, am I right? You relate to this, Hazel? You don't have a crib. Aww, this is so weird. It's been over two hours and this baby hasn't like made a peep. So I'm kind of worried that it's dead or something. Okay, at long last, Hazel is crying again. World's chillest baba. And I'm gonna guess she's hungry. I haven't fed her yet. Would you like to be fed? Oh no, I know life is so hard. Oh, she liked that. Okay, let's burp you. Can you burp? I don't know if I burped her right, but she did need fed, so I was right. Oh, good mom award. Baby Hazel, did I take care of you? My good mom. I just missed it, but I think I did a good job with the burping. Oh, nope, never mind, it's crying. Maybe it's a diaper change? <laughs> diaper? Okay, it's not your diaper. Oh, it's the burping, it's the burping. I think I tried to burp the baby too soon after feeding the baby, whereas I think the baby needed time to be fed and then needed to be burped. I just heard the baby burp and now the baby is crying again. I was just about to go and do my makeup for a meeting that I have in like 15 minutes, but I'm not going to because baby's upset. I think it could be diaper change now because we feed you, we burp you. Nope, not diaper change, okay? Do you just want attention? Do you just want attention? No? Do you really want fed? You just ate. No, you don't want fed. Maybe double burp? Double burp. Very gassy for baby. Were you gassy? That's okay. This isn't gonna be cute at like 2 a.m., but it's so cute right now. Chewie's just like such a little jealous bean. Are you so jealous? You don't trust baby. You do doesn't like it. You know, I thought this before, but now I just realized 100%. Hazel and Peach May is one of Chelsea's daughters in the 100 baby challenge, and I just deemed this baby Hazel. But honestly though, she looks like a Hazel. Maybe this is baby Hazel. Accidental crossover. You would think that I would remember these things about the things that I invent, but I don't always. <laughs> Baby's been pretty good today. Pretty chill, not too crazy. Um, interrupted me during a couple of my meetings crying, but I just muted it and fixed it and it wasn't a problem. I anticipate tonight is going to be a lot though, but so far I'm crushing this mom thing. Mom of the year, baby. Maybe having a hundred babies hardened me and now I'm like the ultimate mom. Maybe my parenting skill is level 10 and I didn't even know. I gotta run an errand. So Hazel's coming with. I know that technically baby is supposed to ride in the back seat and in a baby seat, but I don't got that. It is a what and day challenge and this challenge doesn't include a baby seat. So I'm fine. I wish I had little sunglasses for baby Hazel and I to wear that we could match and do that TikTok thing, but we, I don't have any. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know what she wants. Hungry, are you hungry? Nailed it! Oh my gosh, I'm a flipping pro. Chewy and Hazel are cuddling. Are you cuddling Hazel, Chewy? Are you being the big brother? So just now the baby had started crying and I feel like I started noticing like patterns. So the baby normally needs to eat and then after that the baby needs to burp and then the baby actually likes to burp a second time normally and then it might be a diaper change. So I nailed it on the first try and I'm getting better and better. Who's the best mom, Hazel? Kelsey is. Oh my gosh, she's so advanced. Hello. Oh my gosh. My baby's crying and I'm picking up my friend outside. <laughs> walk but I left the keys upstairs so we got to go back upstairs okay. to fix my baby. <laughs> Poor baby. Okay, come on. I think you need burped. Do you need burped? Nope. Okay. Do you need diaper change? Yes, she needed her diaper changed. <laughs> Good job. So we just went out to get some snacks and there were people definitely staring at us holding this baby. 
Our big baby. Our, our big. Our love child. Our love child. She's the father. <laughs> That's my bestie holding my baby for me while I grab the snacks. <laughs> Okay, it's 11. We're gotten ready for bed. I'll probably read for a little bit and then I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, it's like a little family. <laughs> so we'll see how this night goes. It's nearly midnight. I was just about to kind of start winding down. I've been reading, so I stayed up a little later and our girl Hazel decided to start crying again. So that's like twice in the last hour that she's cried. So I feel like she was really just calm all day just to be loud at night. So this could very easily get very bad very quickly. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. The baby needs fed, which only means that it's going to need burping soon too. I'm really tired. I kept feeling like I was waking up because the baby was crying, but then it didn't all night. So it slept like most of the night, I think. It's 4.18 a.m. and every time I feel like I might be falling back asleep. She wakes up, she was good all night, and now, and now I can't get her to stop crying. Baby, please, go back to sleep. Just at this point, I know exactly what baby wants. Okay, okay, I'll see you later. Hopefully, like, an hour or two. Even Chewy seems to be over this. He's like, no, Hazel, stop. It's almost 5 a.m. and she's crying again. I thought I had finally like changed her and everything was done and she's crying again. Why are you crying? Apparently she required two diaper changes this morning. It is 7.30 in the morning. It is time to wake up. I snoozed the button a couple times. I'm still fairly tired, but I think no, I still am really tired. I have to stream in like an hour and a half, so I need to start getting ready. Good morning, Hazel. Well, Hazel and I have been together for over 24 hours now. I learned a lot in the process. It wasn't as challenging during the day as I was expecting it to be during my work day. She kind of just chilled and did not too much, but at night, it was a nightmare. I was tossing and turning. Every couple minutes, she would be up and crying at 4 a.m. And then she was up again at 7 a.m., which is when I normally get up anyway, but it was still very painful to have to deal with it. So. This this is just, I feel like, an inkling of what actual parents have to deal with. So congrats to the actual parents. You guys are rock stars. I think it was really fun hanging out with Hazel for 24 hours. I can kind of see why people like having babies. Granted, this is just a baby doll, but the cuddles and like just taking care of something was real nice. I'm a big fan of taking care of things. That's why I have so many plants. Would I do this again? Maybe in the far distant future with a real baby. Would I do it with an e-baby again? Probably not. I don't know if there's a reason to. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes live. I put out new videos every Friday and Saturday. Until the next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!